The Oscars are supposed to be the ultimate recognition of talent in the film industry, but sometimes the Academy misses the mark, big time. Some of the greatest directors in cinema history have never taken home the gold, despite their groundbreaking work and massive influence. Here are nine iconic directors who, shockingly, never won an Oscar. Quentin Tarantino is a love-him-or-hate-him director, known for his loud, often brash movies that wear their influences proudly, from spaghetti westerns to Shaw Brothers flicks. He's a master at building tension, as seen in the opening scene of Inglorious Bastards, where every line of dialogue adds to the dread. While his offbeat humor isn't for everyone, it's part of what makes him one of the funniest directors never to win an Oscar. Despite his polarizing style, it's surprising that someone with his talents hasn't snagged the big prize yet. Brian De Palma, often labeled as a Hitchcock copycat, is actually a visionary in his own right, with films like Carrie and Blow Out showcasing his knack for suspense and stylish visuals. He's known for long tracking shots, split screens, and a penchant for violence that goes beyond Hitchcock's subtleties. Dressed to Kill might echo Psycho, but De Palma's signature flair makes it something entirely different. Despite being a key figure in 20th century cinema, the Academy never gave him his due. David Lynch is Hollywood's oddball, crafting surreal and unsettling films like Blue Velvet and Twin Peaks that leave audiences both confused and captivated. His bizarre imagery and strange performances make his movies feel like a fever dream you can't wake up from. Lynch's quirky humor adds to the confusion, making it hard to predict what's coming next. Yet, despite his iconic status, his work is just too out there for the Academy to acknowledge with an Oscar. Jordan Peele might not have been in the filmmaking game for long, but he's quickly proven himself as one of the greats. With Get Out and Us already under his belt, Peel took a bold swing with Nope, a film about two siblings trying to capture evidence of a deadly UFO on their California ranch. It's a wildly ambitious movie that might not be for everyone, but Peel's confidence and originality shine through. His films tackle tough topics like race, which the Academy tends to shy away from, especially in horror. So, while Peel deserves the recognition that Best Director Oscar might be a long shot. Ridley Scott, the visionary behind Alien and Blade Runner, is still going strong with a career that started in the late 70s and shows no signs of slowing down. Known for his ambitious projects, Scott's been swinging for the fences for decades, whether it's in sci-fi epics or intense war dramas like Black Hawk Down. Despite his iconic status and a body of work that spans numerous genres, the Academy has yet to award him an Oscar. Maybe Gladiator 2 will be his next best bet. Michael Bay might be a controversial choice, but there's no denying he's an auteur. His films are big, loud, and sometimes borderline incomprehensible, but they're unmistakably his. Starting with music videos and moving on to blockbuster hits like Bad Boys 2 and The Rock, Bay's style is all about practical effects and massive explosions in a CGI-heavy world. Even with his flaws, like that oddball humor, Bay's vision is clear, and in a perfect world, it would get the Academy recognition it deserves. Wes Anderson, the extraordinary scarf-wearing genius, created a style so distinct that it's now taught by film professors everywhere. His obsession with visual symmetry and detail makes his dark screwball comedies feel like you've stepped into a brightly lit, overwhelmingly colorful dream. Anderson's knack for mixing tones ensures that even his somber themes never feel out of place, and his use of miniatures and stop motion only adds to the surreal, almost cartoon-like quality of his films. Despite being nominated for seven Oscars, he's never won one for directing. Sam Raimi is one of the most iconic directors in recent memory, known for his distinct visual style in both the Evil Dead and Spider-Man trilogies, which are beloved by fans and critics alike. 
He came up alongside the Coen brothers and was part of the early 2000s nerd culture wave. But unlike many, Raimi managed to bring horror elements into every genre he touched, from westerns to superhero flicks. His Raimi cam and use of Dutch angles are unmistakable trademarks. Yet despite his versatility and influence, he's never been even nominated for an Oscar. Stanley Kubrick is perhaps the most shocking director to land on this list, having directed what are widely considered some of the greatest movies of all time, from 2001 A Space Odyssey to The Shining. Known for his perfectionism and control, Kubrick would often have his actors do dozens of takes until he got exactly what he wanted, resulting in films that took years to complete. His innovative use of the Steadicam in The Shining to follow Danny through the Overlook's halls revolutionized filmmaking, allowing for more creative angles and mobility. The fact that Kubrick never won an Oscar shows just how much the Academy gets it wrong.